is this the world's easiest cauliflower cheese recipe? At least we'll watch on to find out, to find out. Let me introduce myself. So my name is Jules Clancy. I'm used to be a food scientist. Now I'm and I always have and always will be a food lover. I'm also a cooking coach and I help people make cooking as simple as possible with three plus ingredient magic meals. So um, I also have a thing for hats <laughs> anyway, and flowers. Anyway, let's just jump into the kitchen and I'll show you how to make the world's easiest cauliflower cheese. So this really is the easiest cauliflower cheese in the world. So I've got half a pack of uh, frozen cauliflower rice. It's still frozen. And we just pop that in a hot pan and essentially we just cooking cooking it and stirring for a few minutes until the cauliflower is hot and it's always better to cook these things from frozen because they are uh, the texture is so much nicer it goes more mushy if you defrost it first then you get the heat down to medium it doesn't take very long so you want to keep an eye on it so when a cauliflower is looking like it's defrosted it's going to get a little bit of butter in about a tablespoon and then a nice generous handful of grated cheese. I'm just gonna stir that in until the butter and the cheese melts into the cauliflower. If I want it to be more substantial, I'd get in a couple of eggs and cook, th put them in at the same time as the cheese and just cook until the eggs are just set. There we go, we have stringy, gooey, cheesy cauliflower. And if you wanted that kind of grilled cheese vibe, you could put this under the grill now to brown up, but I'm happy to eat this just exactly as it is. So what do you think? Like if you enjoyed this, make sure you subscribe to my Stone Soup channel. The story behind this recipe is I, I love cauliflower cheese and I also really love cauliflower I really love frozen cauliflower rice it's like one of my new favorite ingredients because it just keeps in the freezer until you have a cauliflower emergency and then it's all there ready and waiting for you and so I was thinking about um, doing a frozen version of cauliflower and cheese and I was thinking about using whole cauliflower like the cauliflower florets but and they can be okay frozen but I really like the rice better and I was like oh what if I just instead of roasting it just did it in the frying pan like this and just let the cheese melt in so it kind of formed this like sauce onto the cauliflower and I was like I have to try this and yeah it's so good I feel really happy with how it turned out one of the things that makes my recipes really unique is that yes they don't have many ingredients so this one's like three um, most of them are three plus and the other thing is that I always include variations for different dietary requirements or if you happen to be missing a particular ingredient so let's jump in and I'll, I'll share those with you now in terms of if you like obviously if you need to be dairy free then that's a, that's a tricky one for this recipe. Mostly there's a good solution. Uh, what I would recommend is uh, using, like, rather than using the cheese, like cook the cauliflower and then add in a, a couple of eggs and cook those until they're kind of scrambled in to give it that substance. And then I would use like your favorite dairy-free parmesan so whatever sub parmesan grated parmesan substitute you usually use if you're looking for a recipe i have a one that i use um it's called a brazil nut parmesan so check out the i've got a recipe for that on my blog so if you just check out the links in the show notes and it'll, that'll take you to the recipe page and that will have the link to the the brazil nut parmesan so that could be an option and you would just stir that in at the end it's not going to give you that oozy cheesiness but it will it's it's very delicious so it, it will be very satisfying and the eggs are going to give you that kind of there'll be like a bit of a custody texture so it'll have that kind of bit of a cheesy vibe and that would be the closest um if you're looking for different types of cheese i've just used a we call it a tasty cheese in australia but just like a cheddar style but any any cheese that mel melts well will work here so like a gruyere or um uh, or Emmental or Comte or any of the other you know, good melting cheeses are fine. Or you could use a combo of cheeses. The other option is you could use Parmesan. Like it's going to take a little bit longer to, it's not going to melt and give you that stringy ooziness, but it's going to give you that beautiful cheesy flavor. So the Parmesan and butter together combo is, is really nice. In terms of different vegetables, so any veggie rice can work here. You could use whole cauliflower, like florets, you could use fresh cauliflower florets as well. So you're just going to need to um, 
if you're using whole frozen cauliflower florets, cook them in this way. Like they're just going to take a little bit longer to defrost. So cook them straight from frozen in the pan. If you did want to use fresh cauliflower, you'd need to steam it first. So chop it into florets and steam it before tossing in, in the cheese. Um, and broccoli works really well with this. So frozen broccoli, again, frozen broccoli rice, that will be really good. You could do it with frozen green beans, you could do it with frozen peas. Like, and actually you could do it with a, a cheesy version of frozen spinach. Oh my goodness. Actually, I've got some frozen spinach here in front of me. That's sounding really good to me right now. Uh, yeah. So like just play around with it. There's so many options and I'd love to hear from you. Like, are you a college child? flat cheese fan probably you've watched till the end of this video like what's your take like what 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 are you excited to try based on this um on the on this on what you've just seen like leave a comment below and let me know i'd love to hear from you and i check the comments every day okay have a beautiful week or day and i will catch you next time